another kid like bit me when I was a baby. And I think it's also kind of funny because it's on my middle finger, but you know, uh, it happens. <laughs> Yikes. Hi, I'm Ariana DeBose, and you are watching my Women's Health Body Scan. My favorite part of my body, I love my legs. I really love my legs. My legs take me everywhere. They're probably the most important part of my body because they literally get me to and from along my journey. Well, I have many tattoos, uh, mostly on my ribs. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, that one. But it is a Thai lotus with an unalom symbol in the middle, which is a Buddhist symbol of your path to divinity. I have a bluebird on the back of my neck that is a symbol of blind faith. I just got a new one that is mountains, moon, and sun, which my best friend also has a matching one of that. Uh, climb every mountain and search for balance. You know what I mean? And then above that is fear less. Fear, capital L, E S S, because we should fear less. Oh, and then I have one here, which is like a goddess symbol. On my left side, power my mana, which is Hawaiian for like feminine energy. Love that for us. Scars. I have a few, both internal and external. I think my favorite scar is on my finger here, and it's it looks like two parentheses, but it's like a bite mark from a child. Another kid like bit me when I was a baby, and I think it's also kind of funny because it's on my middle finger, but you know, uh, it happens, <laughs> yikes. Yeah, um, as you can see, I have my ears pierced, and I think I got those done when I was seven or eight. My mom took me to a Claire's. I don't regret them because I, I like earrings. I think they're great, another form of expression. And do I have any other piercings? Wouldn't you like to know? I don't have any other piercings. I'm not that cool. <laughs> I really love working out my arms. Like upper body strength is very important to me. I feel like that's like my first line of defense. You never know when you're gonna have to use your brute force to save yourself or save someone else or pick up a bag. And also I'm just really proud of my arms. Your arms are like your greatest expression or they can be start there. That's always where I start. To maintain these arms of mine, I believe in Pilates. Honestly, a good plank never hurt anyone. I don't really know what they're called, but you plank and then you push up and come down, push up, come down. It's great, nice and toned. Some of my hair care secrets include great products. I use TSD hair care, um, flower extract conditioner, and it just leaves my hair so soft. Like, it's all about the soft, as Takesha would say, who is my hair stylist. But very few people touch my hair other than Takesha. In fact, she took me blonde, because I had a blonde summer. Blondes have more fun. So, my nails, I, um, I love my fingers. That's another thing I love. And I play around with color. I believe in manicures. I believe in giving your nails a break. I do hard gel, typically, as opposed to acrylic. But currently, I have nothing on except the Love of Gel Manicure by the one and only Tamika Jackson. Miss Tamika, coming through. She keeps me on fleek. She, she helps me look way cooler than I actually am. It's true. Yeah, well, skin, skin, skin. Like, it's a thing, uh, especially in, in the entertainment industry. But I got very serious about my skincare routine about two years ago when I met Joanna Vargas. She was my facialist. And she also has her own line of products which are organic and sustainable. And she keeps me pretty blemish free and moisturize, 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 moisturize. Like I, my skin type is like oily to dry, but not really that oily, but I travel a lot. So consistency with a brand has been very important for me. And Joanna's line is just everything. And it smells good too. I'm very sensitive actually. And, and in my adulthood, the most important thing that I've discovered is that consistency is key. So once you find a product you love, use it and use it every day. Find your routine, wash your face. I promise you, if you just wash your face consistently, that goes a long way. Yeah, I mean, mental health is real. Yeah, I work in the entertainment industry and it's my job to make things look easy. Cupcakes, rainbows, sprinkles, but that's not actually how it is for the human that is Ariana DeBose all the time. So I am very good about 
my self-care routine. And sometimes that means quiet time and alone time. My self-care also includes exercising. I am someone who has to move. I have to get energy flowing through my body, otherwise I become stagnant and quite frankly, a bit depressed. So, you know, I, I make the time to move and to exercise and to sweat it out. Sweating is so good for you. That's also good for your skin. Get the toxins out, you know what I mean? And I also listen to my body. That is a form of self-love, is listening to your body. And if that means, you know, taking a break from consuming those adult beverages, take I take the break. Or if that means stop scrolling, get off the social apps, I do that too. Because a part of self-care is tuning out some of the negative so that you can focus on the positive and what it is that you need in order to keep going in your journey. I struggle with my mental health from time to time. Not every day is a great day. I'm someone who, I'm, I'm very blessed to feel wildly successful beyond my own like dreams, you know? Real life is hard. And you know, I struggled as a kid. I had a very healthy perfection complex as a dancer. And I struggled with my own perception of my body. And you know, I come from a long line of curvy women and learning to love my curves is something I'm still working on. You get one body in this life and you have to take care of it. Part of taking care of it is loving it. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing your best. Forget everything else. Thanks for watching my body scan uh, and tuning in to Women's Health. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You don't want to miss all the good stuff. Love you.